So if you follow my channel, and you know anything about my channel, you know sometimes I do things on this channel that are sometimes questionable. We bought a $2,000 Mac computer. We bought every foldable cell phone you can buy. I do some crazy things. This, I just wanted to test, okay? And the reason why I wanted to test this was because I wanted to see how this would end up going and if you could prevent yourself from having this problem in the future. So I went ahead and picked up the Black Cyber i15 Pro Max, which is, if you don't know, a clone of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's actually a um, phone that is created in China. I forget the exact website, but there's actually a website that creates all these phones. Galaxy S fakes, um, iPhone fakes, all of them, right? Now, on their web, on their, you know, Amazon page, there's like 17 different company versions. They're all one company, by the way. Anyway, so they create this fake stuff, and they say, oh, this is this type of phone, and it has a, a 6,800 milliamp battery, 13 megapixel front camera, 48 megapixel back, expandable up to one terabyte, 512 gigabyte option. By the way, we broke this down in a separate video. If you want to check it out, it's on the channel. I did an unboxing and a review of this. How this runs down is that this is not a 512 gigabyte version. It's actually a 110. It's 110 gigabytes. Um, it is a 6.8 inch display. It's not a full HD. It's a 720 display. Um, it's, I couldn't tell the exact battery, but I believe it's 5,000 milliamp. I want to say it's actually 5,000 milliamp. The front facing camera is a three megapixel camera. The back facing camera, which is only one, there's like a cutout for all three like this, but it's only one and it's a six megapixel camera. Um, and other than that, yeah, I didn't put my SIM card in it for obvious reasons, but I wanted to go ahead and just put one Twitter on there. I put one Twitter on there that I don't use anymore. It's an old Twitter of mine. And I wanted to see, hey, what happens if I, one, put that Twitter on there. I obviously made the video, talked about it, whatever. I restore the phone, factory reset settings, which, by the way, shout out to that. Whenever you have these fake phones or these clone phones, if you try to reset settings or factory reset nothing on them is factory reset. All the information is still there. They just looks like it's not there anymore. It's still saved to the phone. The whole point, the whole scam of these phones is they want you to buy this phone, right? $150, buy it. You put your stuff on, your information, all your credentials on it. Then you go, oh, this phone is crap. It's not like it says in the listing. You don't realize it at first. Then you package your phone back up send it back out to Amazon, they get this phone, now they have all your information. Ho they're hoping they have your bank information, your logins, your Twitter, your Instagram, your, all your stuff, and now they can sell that information to other people, to other, you know, shady people. That's the point of this scam. That's like the whole point of this scam. But I wanted to see how fast would this scam go through. So I bought this phone, logged in on my Twitter, like... Returned this phone. You can see I bought it on the 16th and I returned it on the 28th, I believe. Yeah, I believe I returned it on the 28th. It is now the 18th of February. So a month later. Oh, well, two and a half weeks later. My Twitter account, hacked. Completely hacked. Password changed, everything. Can't access it at all. I don't really care. It's an old Twitter of mine. It doesn't really affect me that much. But... I wanted to see what would happen, and I got my exact response. My Twitter got hacked. My Twitter got taken away. Whoever, when I returned this phone, I reset the phone, logged out of my Twitter. Somehow, someway, my credentials got leaked. I've had that Twitter since 2012. Did not really use it at all, don't get me wrong. But still, if you are thinking about buying any fake phone. And I don't know why many people would be buying fake phones. I do want to go ahead and just give you a clear FYI. Even if you're like, I want to buy it just to have it, just to see, you know, because it's kind of cool, it's $140. You're going to get your stuff stolen. You're going to get your, um, whatever login you do on this device, you're going to get that stolen. You're going to get information stolen. So, if you ever do see these devices or you buy one, maybe maybe you're buying one off, you know, I don't know, eBay or you're trying to buy an iPhone off eBay, 
trying to buy a phone off of Macari or wherever, right? And sometimes this does happen. Not really anyone trying to buy a fake phone, but a lot of times people get scammed, right? And they, you try to buy a phone and they send you a fake version. And the reason why, again, is because they want you to get it. Sometimes they want you to get it and just keep it and then they can also steal your information through other ways by having bloatware on the phone that they can get your information back and hack your phone. Number two is they want you to return it to them. Because the second you return a phone to one of these companies with that information, the second I return this phone to this company with my Twitter login, they now have all the information that came from that said phone. Thankfully, I did not use my Wi-Fi network when I did go ahead and log into this phone. I used a VPN and I used a, um, my phone, not my phone network, I used another network. I went to a uh, Wi-Fi, uh, McDonald's Wi-Fi. That's what I'm trying to say. I went to McDonald's to go ahead and connect to the internet to download all the stuff I needed and actually log into my account because I didn't want to use my actual Wi-Fi. Everything you do on that phone, it's like you just handing over that information to these companies and they're going to take it and steal it. Again, like I said, you look at these companies and let's say Black Cyber, that's a obviously a company here, right? They have one phone up right here. Previously viewed, yeah the i15 Pro Max. They have no other phones up other than that phone. Even though they sold in the past all the other phones, they have other phones they list up. They get taken down left, right, and center all the time from Amazon because of this. And you can see it's not just this phone right here. Actually, these are all legit phones. But they have different variants for every single type of phone you can think of. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, we looked at it on recently. And the same concept applies. It just non-stop. You know, they just pop up every single 10 seconds. Basically, I want to understand um, who Jeffries actually had made a video about this. But based on sand, it takes them like, costs them nothing to make. And you can actually find a lot of these phones, by the way, on AliExpress. AliExpress and Wish.com. Great websites to find these type of phones as well. It costs them like $20 to make these phones. And if you're wondering what processor it comes in these phones, sometimes they lie to you and say, oh, it comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. It doesn't matter, not at all. Um, sometimes they'll say, like, it comes with a crazy great processor. It usually comes with a Snapdragon 855 processor, which is the same processing unit on a Surface Duo 1, which is not, like, the worst processing unit in the world. And in all honesty, it's not the worst phone in the world. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. But, again, it's all together just a scam. The point of it is to steal your information. So, if you see this on Amazon, or, again, you're probably not going to buy it on Amazon. Maybe one of your family members or your elderly parents might do it. Just make sure you keep an eye on that. Number two, though, if you do go ahead and get a phone that you're like, this looks like an iPhone, but it is it an iPhone? You want to make sure you check. Because these phones... They're, they're, they look very good, I will say. Now, this phone, not the greatest, but there are a lot of great fakes out there that do look legitimate. And there are different ways to check. Obviously, you can check cameras. Again, there's videos on YouTube if you want to break it down. There's a whole entire list you had to go through. But, again, like I said, just be careful out there because, obviously, I did this on purpose to myself. But if you're not going to do this on purpose to yourself, yeah, you could be in a really bad situation. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, so I got the account back. They didn't change my email. They just changed the password, and that was pretty much that. Um, interestingly enough, they weren't able to hack my email, so I guess that's a W. Well, actually, they might have been able to. My email's password also got changed, so I had to contact Yahoo, go through a whole entire process there by the way if you go through yahoo support they make you uh buy the subscription service for their premium support it's so stupid it's 12 dollars. nonetheless though after an hour and a half on the phone with them i got my email back which then got me able to access my account back anyway though so i'm back on my account here now if you go to your account on twitter right you go to a privacy and security you can get to this screen right here which it says apps and sessions, right? Ac account access history. All your location, your IP addresses 
that have accessed your account as of like forever ago, right? The whole entire time. Let's see where these sons of a guns are from that stole my account. And again, all because I bought a fake iPhone off Amazon. Okay, February 11th was when I lost access to my account. They connected from Saudi Arabia on February 11, 2024. So, and then it says, the next one says United States. Then it says Brazil. So a Brazil, someone from Brazil accessed my Twitter. Someone from Saudi Arabia accessed my Twitter. And then someone from the United States accessed my Twitter. And this is when I lost uh, control of my Twitter was these dates right here. So I lost it on the 11th. They hacked it on the 11th. Changed the passcode. Twitter for Android. Okay, so my guess is they, because the actual phone still has your login, even though you reset it, they went ahead and accessed it from Android, changed the passcode from that phone I returned, then went ahead and followed it up by, I guess, giving my information maybe to themselves or somebody else, in Brazil, then I guess so they logged back into the United States to make sure everything was correct and that the passcode would change, and then Saudi Arabia. So, and then obviously I logged in after that trying to get my account and stuff back. That's that is wild, that is absolutely wild. And then all my other stuff always is correct, all my other. IP address, it's all me, but my account was in Saudi Arabia at one point because of this, so shout out to that, um, again, it was a dummy account anyway, but don't buy fake phones off of Amazon, guys, please do not, it is a scam, and you will lose your information, peace out.